Shuttle buses replacing trains between Oak Grove and Sullivan Square. Riders all too familiar with disruption are not happy. We got to go through this all the time and we still got to pay. Repairs are underway to fix a badly damaged switch on a portion of the Orange Line just outside Wellington Station after a brand new Orange Line train derailed just before noon on Tuesday. About 100 people on board were safely evacuated. I was coming back from work and uh, usually I would take the train connections in here, but yesterday I couldn't and there was a lot of waiting and there's a lot of line because it was probably a little unexpected. The new cars have been pulled from service twice before because of problems. Now the T has sidelined them again, as well as the new red line cars as they determine whether they were a factor in the derailment. It's not fair because we pay for the, the, the other train that's renewed, the brand new model cars, and now that's gone and we got to do this. In the meantime, shuttles will continue to replace trains between those two stations. It just causes a little extra time for, for me to get here to there. As many frustrated riders get back on public transit and head back to work. There's thousands and thousands of people taking this and you got to stop our lives and we still got to pay more money. I can't do this. The T says it'll take at least three weeks to repair the track. The cause of the derailment remains under investigation. In Charlestown, Katie Thompson, WCVB News Center 5.